What's fit YouTube? Welcome to my YouTube channel, What's Fit? My name is Kevin Boeing. If you know, we've waited too long, worked too hard, and been through too much just to get this one video out. This is the moment that we all been waiting for. And thank God we're here today to drop it. But before we get into that, let me give you a quick introduction of What's Fit. As I mentioned before, my name is Kevin Boeing. Welcome to my channel, What's Fit? And here, we talk about fashion all over the world. What's Fit is a fashion blog that began on Instagram and TikTok in 2021. Since then, I've been creating videos, editing photos, and collaborating with local artists and organizations to improve my content creating skills. I also happen to enjoy speaking to people in public about their choices of clothing and their fashion habits. One of my favorite interviewees was American rapper 24K Godo who I saw at ComplexCon in 2021. And I can't lie, the Old Park flannel and the Fioruchi t-shirt go hand in hand perfectly. Now enough with all that. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for. This is the artist that is hated by everybody in the industry. He still has one of the biggest fan bases as a hip hop artist. He is the most respected on this platform. We're talking about Ken Trell, aka 4K Trey, also known as NBA Youngboy. And the reason why I personally chose NBA Youngboy as my first option, because he has came a long way, you know, with his wardrobe. He has evolved so much over the course of five to seven years with his style and his creativity. But I'm definitely going to leave the opinions and decisions to you guys, so you guys can have your own take on it also. But without further ado, let's get right into NBA Youngboy's outfit breakdown. Beginning with NBA Youngboy's first music video ever, NBA. This music video was released in 2015 so we're gonna get right into the video and see what kind of outfits are in nba starting with the first outfit in the music video you can see clearly that he's wearing truck fit truck fit is an easy one to catch on site this was actually created in 2012 for the skater community but let's dig a little deeper into this piece okay the initial price for this shirt was actually 35 dollars the name isn't circulating through the market anymore truck fit is not a known brand anymore it's more of a vintage streetwear somewhat yeah but this clothing is not lasting a day in the modern market truck fit is actually an acronym for the reason you kill for it for what exactly nobody has found out for what you kill for or what Tunchi Lil Wayne has killed for but with that being said young boy didn't wear too many outfits in this music video so we're gonna move on to the next one which is untouchable so this video untouchable was actually released two years after the NBA music video was released and NBA young boy started to become more expressive with his outfits but the pieces here aren't cheap at all so the first piece in this music video that we're gonna get started on is the CDG sweatshirt the CDG sweatshirt is actually labeled as a hard patch hoodie the fact Fabric is actually high tech quality polyester. And you start to see a lot of brands transfer onto this high tech quality, making it more comfortable for consumers to wear their clothing. We can possibly say that NBA Youngboy has always been into designer. But at the early on stages in his career, I didn't see too much flexing from a young boy. He'll probably put a few things on or something like that, but nothing too flashy like you know the everyday artists you see now. He really just stuck to the basic pieces. And these shoes are actually the second piece of clothing that we're gonna be talking about. These are going right now for $630, and there are only seven left, so you better go get you a pair if you really want them. The price for this shoe has actually gone up because when I did my research for this video, it was actually going for $500, but now they put it up a whole $130, which is kind of pricey. Definitely no stylist needed for this outfit. This is very basic. As we dive deeper and deeper into Youngboy's wardrobe, I want you guys to pay close attention to how his creativity changes, his outfit changes, and how his brand awareness increases throughout his career. And also, Youngboy fan or not, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and set those reminders for the next outfit breakdown. Now let's get into the next video, which is Blazion. Blazion was actually one of the songs from NBA Youngboy that I did not listen to. I don't know if it was because it wasn't clicking with me or what. Definitely a great song though. What he wore in the music video is a lot better. The leopard print is actually a blend between mohair and wool. You'll see a lot of fashion houses experimenting with this blend, this mohair wool blend. Especially Marnie. Marnie is a big fan of mohair and wool blends. The Marnie beanie, the Marnie balaclava, the Hardin arena walk-in with the Marnie outfit was great. You have to be careful though because people commonly confuse and girl wool with mohair and although they might look quite similar, they're in fact from two different animals. The Angora wool comes from the Angora rabbit while mohair is actually from Angora goats. And as you can see here, he's actually evolving more within his outfit. Definitely in touch with more fabrics, he's wearing more jewelry or even adding more accessories to his pants like the serpentine belt. And before in Untouchable, we saw that he did even have a belt on which is totally fine if you don't want to wear a belt but now you can definitely see more high class brands or high fashion brands and this is just the beginning stages of young boys wardrobe evolution this song was definitely a hit for me as i became more of a young boy fan over the last couple years and we can confirm that this is around the time that young boy really started to tap into the name brand and stand out pieces for his music videos i'm not necessarily speaking just hoodies or t-shirts but more of collector's items and the perfect example of this is the magician varsity jacket this is a hundred percent a collector 
collector's item and also a standout piece. This is not some piece of clothing that you will see people wearing every day. This is a jacket that you can actually hang on your wall for how good it looks. This is something that you keep by your side, you plaster up and you put in a frame. 3,210 was the initial retail when I first searched it up. You can find it $700 cheaper, which is definitely a steal for a piece like this. You know, considering that it was up like $600 before, somewhat popular, but it is an old drop, a 2021 drop. They're always looking for something new to wear, something more creative. And also quick reminder, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn those reminders on for the latest breakdowns. This song is by far one of my favorite songs by NBA Youngboy. The school knit sweater comes from a collaboration between South Korean artist Ramon K. Yang and my player. His art is beauty at first sight as he uses intarsia and calligraphy techniques to paint. And incorporating the intarsia technique is also a one of a kind mixture because it gives the painting on the sweater a pop out look or three dimensional look. Pulling up the details of the sweater, it's an alpaca and wool blend, which is 100% soft to the skin and neutral for any weather, meaning the temperature of the wool is based on the wearer's body temperature. So you don't get too hot or too cold in the material. And this is definitely a year round piece, which explains why Youngboy is wearing it in this type of environment. And that brings us to my favorite piece of the breakdown so far. This jacket is another collaboration of Montclair's, but this time they collaborated with a design company called Fragment. This piece is called the Seven Fragment Mason Jacket. And I can't lie, when Youngboy came out with this one, it was definitely giving me off-white vibes. Not necessarily speaking about the shape or the fabric of the jacket, but just speaking specifically to the text that's on the jacket. Semi-bold typeface and Helvetica is what the font is to be exact. The jacket is insulated too, so we can also infer that NBA Youngboy is in a cooler environment, because you definitely wouldn't be wearing a padded vest or a padded jacket in warmer environment or warmer temperatures. But that also explains why he wore the alpaca and wool blend from Roman. And the padding for this jacket is actually goose down, which is a lot warmer than duck down. Duck down is considered to be you know, still warm, but not as warm as Goose Down, a lower quality and not as expensive. Diving into the company, Fragment designed by Hiroshi Fujiwara. They are only a team of three, including Hiroshi Fujiwara. Fragment has made a big impact on the fashion and streetwear industry. Nobody would think that this is only being done by three people. During an interview with Hypebeast Radio back in 2019, Hiroshi stated that he loves keeping his circle small. And he also states that this makes his life a lot easier because he doesn't have too many influences interrupting his ideas. The business that he has is not a clothing brand. Brand, but Hiroshi considers it to be a design company that helps other brands create or solidify any ideas that they have to offer. I've seen great work from Hiroshi and Fragment like the Travis Scott collaborations or even the Louis Vuitton monogram. And believe it or not, Levi's even collaborated with Hiroshi Fujiwara. But referring to Japanese designers, I see a lot more of Number 9 by Takahiro and Undercover by June. Definitely want to look at more Japanese brands to see what they have to offer. Well, that's the full breakdown and that's all I have for you guys. Youngboy's outfits weren't bad for what we've seen today. Do you guys think that NBA Youngboy's outfits it was valid which outfits did you like which outfits didn't you like thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like this video and turn those reminders on for the latest outfit breakdown